Christian Business Connection, connecting your business or ministry to the world. Good morning and welcome to the CBC radio show, The Christian Business Connection. I'm your host, evangelist Nona Thomas, excited to declare that this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah to this first Sunday in June. I'm excited about it. It feels like Christmas already, the friends, but you know, time is moving fast. Hey, you want to know, this is just a little side note. You want to know why time is moving so fast? Because Jesus is coming soon. Get it together. Don't get caught with your work not done. All right, all right. Just a little side side note to put in there. Well, I'm excited about the program today. We have some fantastic guests. We are celebrating this month the CBC June Author of the Month, who is none other than Mrs. Delitra Hudson, who is the author of Money Doesn't Grow on Trees. Now, I told her I thought it did. as Surely my kids thought it did, all right? <laughs> but we're so excited. Excited to feature her book this month. We also have on the program Pastor Keith Scarborough of the Word at Shaw. I love this man of God. He is the real deal. He is a joy. And he's going to be talking about the great things that are going on at the Word at Shaw. And then we're going to be talking this morning with Dr. Tebow, none other than Dr. Katrina Thompson Boundary. Oh, she's always a joy to have on the show. And she's going to be talking also about the healthy living tip. And then we have Miss Kimberly Ward of Kim's Herb and Detox Center, a new business owner, excited about what God is doing in her business, in her life. She's right there in Olivet, and you're going to hear more about her. And then Mrs. April Fuller Kelly is going to be talking about Tyra Banks Cosmetics and Beauty Tainers. That's what I said, Beauty Tainers. Well, you got to listen to the interview so you can find out what we are talking about. She is going to be a joy. Look, I got more things to talk about about, but I can't tell it all right now. You got to listen to the whole hour of the CBC radio show. But I do want to tell you to give me a call because mark your calendar on October 14th through the 16th. It is the women's retreat that I will be hosting with Nona Thomas Worldwide Ministries. I'm so excited about that. And friends, I want you to know that the Lord is going to bless. So give me a call at 314-270-2225 to find out about the upcoming women's retreat. Well, look, I'm going to take a break right here. When I come back, we're going to be talking with our CBC June author of the month, Mrs. Delitra Hudson, the author of Money Doesn't Grow on Trees. I'll be right back. Hi, this is Evangelist Nona Thomas inviting you to tune in to Hallelujah 1600 at 4 p.m. every Wednesday for the midweek message. Friends, let me tell you, this program will encourage you. It will inspire you. It will be the boost that will be right on time in the Word of God for your Wednesday afternoon. So tune in every Wednesday, 4 p.m. right here on Hallelujah 1600 for the midweek message with Evangelist Nona Thomas. To God be the glory. Welcome back to the CBC radio show. I'm your host, evangelist Nona Thomas. And friends, we gave you a little teaser last week as we were talking about our CBC June author of the month, Mrs. Delitra Hudson. I am so excited about this new children's book and we're going to get right to it. And you know what? I almost want to say this is for children of all ages. So I want to welcome to the CBC radio show, Mrs. Delitra Hudson, our June author of the month. Good morning. Thank you for having me. It is such a pleasure. Isn't it a beautiful day? It's a beautiful day. Is it the day that the Lord has made for you? And we must rejoice and be glad in it. I love how you give the right <laughs> answer. I love it. We don't program these things, but you knew what to say. Glory to God. You know, we had a good time talking last yes. week about your book, yes. Money. <laughs> And I believe because most people think it does. Money doesn't grow on trees. Are you sure it doesn't grow on a tree? I'm positive. Not in our yard. Not in our yard at all. But we can (laughs) grow money. We can learn how to grow money. Now, everybody should lean in right there. Well, before I I, I go too deep, for anyone who missed the program last week, uh, tell us, how did you get the vision for this book? And this is your first book. And it's a children's book. My goodness. This is my first book. And it is a debut book Mm -hmm. for my children's book series of Money Matters book series. And people ask me, why is your first book a children's book? And my my answer is very simple. Mm -hmm. That's what the Lord put on my heart to do. 
Um, I it was about 2012, and I had a surgery, mm-hmm. and I was laid up, and I took to a spiral notebook mm-hmm. and started writing, mm-hmm. and from that came a book that set from 2012 until 2016 when I got with a business coach and said, "Let's write a book," and I I already have a book. <laughs> <laughs> so from that, and within the three-month period of time, it went from a draft to a published product. Wait a minute. Three months from the dream to fruition. That's right. Wow. That's Won't, he, right. Do Won't, he, do Won't he do it? Won't he do it Won't he do it? Won't he do it? With the And he will also put the right people in your life yes. at the right time. Yes, he will. I, I, I know that. I, I'm, a, I'm a witness on that. And so from the time you finished writing it in, in the in the notebook and the business coach helping you and then you launched it, what has this journey, this short journey so far been like for you? It's been awesome. Um, not only am I an author, but I am a financial coach and a mm-hmm. financial consultant and mm-hmm. I do speaking. Mm-hmm. So my my vision started off with just my coaching mm-hmm. and it's just been the um, producing this book and becoming an author has just taken my business into a whole nother direction. Um, it's opened up doors for me to work with municipalities mm-hmm. and churches, mm-hmm. um, more youth groups. Mm-hmm. I have I do a part of my business is paying it forward mm-hmm. where each month I go back and work with youth organizations free of charge mm. and pour into them Um how to prepare for your dreams, how to plan um, and expect good things to come to you for doing good things and instilling good money habits and money management skills. And that's why this book right now is so important Mm -hmm. because I work with a lot of professionals and small business owners who are looking to build lives and create the lives that they desire, but they also want to create legacies, and our legacies start with our young people. And I think I I zeroed in on that word. I'm so glad you said it again, legacy. Mm -hmm. Legacy. What are we leaving our children? What, what, you know... How did we even build up to the legacy? And because we're in we're in such stressful yes. times right now, yes. it's important that you know how to manage your money. That's right. That's right. Mm-hmm. We don't have as much. Mm-hmm. And we need to learn how to manage what we have. Mm-hmm. And just as I say we don't have as much, but we have more opportunities for us to yes. have more. Yes. But it is important to instill within ourselves and our young people the financial knowledge they need Mm -hmm. so that they can make the right decisions. And we can make the right decisions. Yes, We all want to do better by our children than we had. And we want our children to do better by their children. So that's part of the legacy. And just teaching them early because um, financial preparation, personal finance Mm -hmm. is not something that is taught as much in the school system Mm. as it needs to be. Mm -hmm. So it's our responsibility to make sure they get that information. Well, it really is. And, and, you know, one thing I've I've complimented you uh, uh, sincerely on the illustration and the graphics of the book. My listeners, I wish you could see right now the illustration and the graphics in this book. It is it's simply wonderful. I I can't believe it's the first one. Uh, but let's get to the heart of the story. Tell us the the heroine. Who tell us about the heroine in this book? Well, this book was inspired by my own children, mm-hmm. and a lot of the books that you will see coming through this book series will be from things that I've personally experienced. Mm-hmm. And the the um, characters in this book are mom. Uh, my oldest daughter, we call her Joy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. My youngest daughter, we call Jay, and their friend Gabby. And it is about uh, them wanting to to venture out on spring break to do some things. But Joy, the oldest, doesn't have money. So I, in this book, I set out to teach Joy the importance of learning how to work to earn what she needed to do the things that she wanted to do. So the message is to really start teaching children that you, there's a a formula in life. Yes. You work, you earn. Yes. And however you work, Mm -hmm. you can be your own boss, you Mm -hmm. can work for someone else, Mm -hmm. but there is a a way in which to acquire things. And one of my favorite quotes from the Bible is faith without works is dead. That's right. So we have to put forth the effort to obtain those things that we desire. Yes. When you say put forth the effort, the effort, uh, 
you this is Holy Ghost here. I want you to know. <laughs> and the reason why I said at the beginning that I almost feel like saying it's for all ages is because I learned something reading the book. You know what I'm great, saying? Great, great, great. And, and uh, the title is truly God inspired because I know my mama used to say it. Most mamas mm-hmm. used to say, look, stop asking for stuff. Money don't grow on trees. Right. You know? Right. And so that gets your attention right off. Now, something that I asked you in our last uh, uh interview was are you willing are you able to go out into the churches into um workshops to do workshops all types of things because i believe that this is information that we need to know right now and especially during these summer months yes. when children you know they're not doing as much things or you know what i'm saying yes yes i am very willing and able to go out and work with local groups mm-hmm. um youth organizations i will go to the churches and i don't want people to feel limited that this that me coming to speak is just for children. Mm-hmm. I work with people of all ages. Mm-hmm. Um, I am launching a youth summer camp mm-hmm. um, the third week of June. So we'll have more information on that the week of June twenty second, and it is for youth from the ages of seven through twenty one. And the the week long learning will be about how to earn money keep money and grow money. So those are things that are be open for the children. But other than that, go to my website at www.delitrahudson.com. That's spelled D-E-L-E-T-R-A-H-U-D-S-O-N. It's all one word. And go to my contact page and send me a message if you're interested in booking me for any time during the summer to come speak to your organization, to come work with your municipality, to come to your small business and do coaching. I am available to do any of that, and I am open to that. I, that's what I love to do, work sure. with the people. Yeah, and you know, this show, uh, Glory to God, is also being live streamed on um, hallelujah1600.com and iheartradio.com. Uh, so this show literally is heard all across the country, all across the awesome. world. Awesome. And so I know you are available to travel. I am available to travel. I love traveling. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I love to get away and go to different cities and and meet the people. Yes. Getting in the trenches is what I love to do. Praise him, praise him. One thing, now I'm going to get back to the summer camp. Now, where is that going to be? Are people at this date available to still join or come to the summer camp? Yes, the people are available to join, and it is here in St. Louis. I'm still trying to iron out the location. Okay. Um, I haven't gotten it confirmed yet. It looks so positive, but I don't want to give the address to where the camp is yet. But contact me through my website, and we will stay in touch. But know that the camp will take place. It will ju- It will probably be in the the city area um, is where I'm looking for. Wonderful, wonderful. Now, that's that's good news. Um, you know, I, I know that this is your baby. This book is your baby. Yes. And so um, we're just about out of time. But can you from this uh, from what we're doing today, what's on your heart that you really want to get out to parents and um, to grandparents to let them know about this book? Um, to let you know that this book is the, the the door to open the conversations. Let's get us talking. Let's get us moving to do things that we may, have, may not have thought about or we've been putting on the back burner about how to build wealth, about how to introduce um, spending habits, about how to educate on money. And it's not a racial thing. It's mm-hmm. not just certain groups of people have money. Mm-hmm. The pot is open to everyone. Mm-hmm. And it is our responsibility responsibility to understand and to start teaching. And if you need a book to start that conversation, this is a great conversation this is starter. It. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm excited. And, and we're just getting started because you're going to be with me the entire month of June. You yes, promise? Yes, I promise. And I'm looking forward to it. Yes, we're going to have a good time talking about how money doesn't grow on trees. I tell you, Mrs. Delitra Hudson, our CBC author of the month, you got to get this book. Go to the website. Give it to us one more time. www.delitrahudson.com. That's D-E-L-E-T-R-A-H-U-D-S-O-N, all one word. Wonderful. Thank you for being part of the CBC Radio Show today. Thank you for having me. All right, friends, we're going to take a short break. Stay with me. I'll be right back.
Good morning, everybody. My name is Vance Watt. I'm the worship arts pastor at the Word at Shaw Church here in St. Louis, Missouri, where we serve the community in word and in deed. I'm so excited to be here this morning on the CBC radio show with evangelist Nona Thomas. I'd like to extend a warm welcome to you and your family to come worship with us at the Word at Shaw at 11 a.m. on Sunday morning. We're located at 4265 Shaw Boulevard, St. Louis, Missouri, 63110. Or you can visit our website at www.thewordatshaw.com. Org. God bless. Hi, my name is Lauren. I try to stay away from chemicals and harmful toxins in the foods I eat and the products I use on my body. So Kim's Herbs and Detox Center is the place I shop because I know I'll find products that are natural and safe for my family to use. It's difficult to avoid all of the harmful toxins in the environment. So I like the fact that Kim's Herbs and Detox Center has several detoxifying options, including the ionic foot bath, which I absolutely love. The foot bath draws toxins out of your body for your feet. And after I did it, I could really tell the difference. There's something at Kim's Herbs and Detox Center for my whole family. My sons play baseball, and sometimes they have aches and pains. Kim sells a great paraben-free pain cream that works in just a minute. One of my sons has a dry scalp, and the scalp tonic she carries has been very helpful, as well as other body products I use for my own skincare needs. Kim's Herbs and Detox is where I go for my whole family for whole body health and wellness. I love the fact that Kim is a certified holistic health coach, and she's very knowledgeable. If you're experiencing a health issue and you want to address it from a natural and holistic approach, I encourage you to go see Kim at Kim's Herbs and Detox Center in Olivet. Welcome back to the CBC Radio Show. I'm your host, Evangelist Nona Thomas. And friends, I told you at the top of the program, I was so excited to have the man of God here in the studio with us. I'm telling you, there are some great things going on over on the south side of St. Louis. And right now here to talk about it is Pastor Keith Scarborough of The Word at Shaw. Good morning, Pastor Keith. Good morning, Nona. How are you today? I'm wonderful. And a beautiful day. And I'm glad to be uh, here. You're sharing the waves with you. Now, you you kind of take my question. I was going to ask yeah. you, is this the day that the Lord has made for well, you? I believe it is, isn't it? Yes. It is. Yes. Okay, good. I was double checking. <laughs> but yes, indeed, it is. What a beautiful day. And every good and perfect gift comes from above. So indeed. don't take it for granted. Yeah. We can't. Yeah. We can't. Uh, many didn't wake up this morning, so we give them the glory. <laughs> you know, Pastor, you all are doing some great things well, in the community. Uh, right there on Shaw and yeah. the south side of yeah. St. Louis. Tell us about the word at Shaw. Well, the word at Shaw was planted five years ago. And so we're, we're, we're starting to feel like, you know, a real church is kind of up and running. It took us about five years to kind of get there. Uh, we are a multicultural church. Uh, I know that, you know, my partner Vance Watt, yes. uh, most folks in St. Louis know him as praise, a hip hop Christian artist and great dude, uh, great, great to do ministry with. And so, uh, we put this church together because we, we believe that church should look like heaven and should look like our community. And uh, our community has so many divisions in it that when Jesus comes in, Jesus says, oh, no, no, no. Division is bad. Mm-hmm. That's from the other guy. Jesus mm-hmm. brings about unity. And so we wanted to create a congregation that did that. And so our congregation is that. It's extremely diverse, both in race, but also uh, social economic backgrounds, mm-hmm. but also ages. Mm-hmm. And uh, it's just a great place to kind of hang out, come as you are and uh, hang out and uh, worship God. Now, we believe worship is really a celebration of what God's doing, and God's doing miracles all yes. around us all every time. day. All the time. And so it's not just about Sunday morning. It's about what el- what else. God is doing else through the week, what mm-hmm. else God is doing through the week, and then also coming together on celebrate s- Sunday to celebrate that. Yes, yes. And your Sunday celebration certainly is a Sunday celebration, isn't it? <laughs> it sure is. Yeah, <laughs> it really is. And then what's so cool about it, Pastor, is not only do you have just a beautiful sanctuary, just a beautiful edifice. I mean, it is really so, so wonderful. Then folks can transition either before or after church to the coffee house. 
My goodness. Yeah. We were given an, a United Methodist building and uh, with the agreement that we would refurbish it. Mm-hmm. And so, for five years, we've been changing, knocking out walls and doing things. <laughs> and when you're doing multicultural, what you want to do is build places where people can sit and get to know each other yes. and just spend time with each other. And so, the coffee house was the perfect solution for yes, that. Yes. And so, it's just a great... We have we have a neighborhood coffee ground right there in our neighborhood, mm-hmm. and it's free. Mm-hmm. So, you can come. You can check your email before a service. It's really laid I'm not a morning person. So, like, I need a nice kind of build up to service. And so it's real relaxed, real mellow, and you can come in and kind of hang out with your friends and then go worship God together. Yes. You know, uh, of course, I'm, I'm, I'm there, you know, <laughs> quite a bit. And when I walk into the sanctuary, I don't. It, it doesn't matter if it, the sanctuary is, if there are people in there or, you know, if I'm just showing it or something. It's such a spirit of peace, isn't it? Yeah. It's it's yeah. just, it's 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 serenity. Yeah. I mean, that's the only way I can say it. You have everything that's modern is in there, okay? Right. <laughs> so if you're looking for, you know, the techno stuff right. for a church, mm-hmm. you got that. If you're looking for high praise and worship, you got right. that. If you're looking for the word, you got that. Yeah. It's all there at the Word of Shine. Yeah, where there's Christ, there is peace. Mm-hmm. And uh, even in mm-hmm. our community, that's what we're striving for. Mm-hmm. And so um, it is a lot of fun. I'm a very laid back pastor. I don't wear a tie. It, well, I've worn a tie a couple of times and the people all tease me about it. So I don't wear it anymore. <laughs> but uh, but Vance, you know, he's just Vance. And yes. uh, and there's nothing like it. And so there's ups, there's downs. Uh, we have altar uh, prayer. Mm-hmm. And so it gets very... Uh, uh, very cool and reflective, but then also celebratory. Yes. And uh, so it's just a great place and you can feel the spirit. And, and uh, we say we want to meet people wherever they are. Mm-hmm. And I had one of those church experts come by and I said, now, look, this is kind of like on our website and kind of our mission statement. And this is what we're trying to do. And so I, I don't want to tell anybody who you are. Just come and sit and just see. Right. And he came back and said, Keith, you can write that check every day because your people <laughs> are cashing it for you. They're so welcoming. They love it. You love mm-hmm. new people they love mm-hmm. all folks and it's really working that way so yes. that's great isn't it it is yeah. wonderful and so it's not like a church where you would go in and feel judged i hope mm-hmm. it's more like a church where you just go and be yourself and you that's great home. yeah you feel yeah. at home well i want to let you know that if you are just tuning in this morning we're talking with pastor keith of the word at shaw now pastor where is the church located okay it's right across the street from the botanical garden mm-hmm. it's on the corner of tower grove and shaw mm-hmm. so you know you can see 44 right behind Behind us, mm-hmm. it's right there. It's very easy to get to, and it's got a great big mural on the side of it that says Shaw because right. we're so proud of the Shaw neighborhood. Yes. Actually, the kids in our community came and painted that. It was a paint by number mural, and one of the local artists here in St. Louis helped the kids, and so kids from all over our community came and painted on our wow. church in a good way. In a good way. Yeah, in a good yeah. way. It doesn't always happen that way, but in ours, it was right, and it was a great big welcome mat mm-hmm. uh, to the Shaw neighborhood. So yes. that's I always say, hey, we're the church with the mural they go oh that's you yeah that's, that's us you. right that's on the right. corner tower grove and shaw yeah that's right that's right <laughs> you know pastor you're doing so many outreach uh things in the community tell us about that yeah we uh we do a couple of things that um that i'm very proud of on um on fridays i am in the school that is right next door uh to our church it's the um uh, Malamphy uh, Elementary School. It's a mm-hmm. s- public school. Mm-hmm. And I go in and teach life skills. I've been there six years now. Every year that we've had the church, I've been there. And so that's me in the classroom. These are not um, uh, assemblies. I'm in the classroom. I'm in second, third, fourth, and fifth grade. Every classroom, four times a year. So they know me they over know there. You. And I'm teaching <laughs> life skills, uh, things like communication, <laughs> conflict resolution, values, and self-esteem. Things that will help them take what they're learning in school and be successful in life. And we've discovered that when students have a good handle on life skills, they're Mm -hmm. less likely to be addicted to drugs, alcohol, Mm -hmm. or use violence Mm -hmm. to settle their problems. And so I've been there for six years. That's our outreach to the public school. And uh, of course, I'm not alone. Lots of our volunteers come over and tutor and we just kind of take care of the teachers, Mm -hmm. take care of the grounds, Mm -hmm. do all that kind of stuff. We also have a furniture program. In fact, downstairs 
downstairs. We had three classrooms. You know, it's the old model of church that we got, which sure. was everybody was in a classroom. Now we don't do that anymore. <laughs> so I had beautiful space, and we turned those into showrooms. So they kind of look like Rothman furniture. Yes, and we work beautiful. with um, several of our shelters, uh, homeless shelters, and so women who are getting graduating, getting out of the shelter into their new apartment. We come along. They come down. They shop. They don't have to pay anything, but they shop. They get to pick out all of their kitchen stuff, all of their living room stuff, all their bedroom stuff, and then we have a moving van. We load it up. So my Saturday is spent loading wow. and, and doing furniture. You know, they didn't teach you that stuff in seminary. No. They should. have. That's what they need to be teaching: how I to don't drive a moving that in van. Seminary. Yeah, yeah, I don't remember that. Pastor. Well, it's the best part. It's the best part of my job. And so on Saturdays, I always have a team, and we go out and we're delivering. In fact, this last week we delivered um, to a lady, and she was just getting her kids back. And evidently, it's a regulation if the if they're going to give her her kids back, she had to have a bed for every kid. Yeah. So we showed up with five beds glory, with glory. all the dining room, all the living room stuff, and got to pray over her, pray over yeah. her house, pray over her kids. And now this house is going to become a home yes. uh, with kids, and that's going to be great. So that's that's our what we call furnishing hope. And then on Thursdays we have a uh, after school program, Word at Shaw After School. Uh, it's a great program. Mm-hmm. Kids are between eight and fourteen, mm-hmm. and uh, they come. We help them with their homework. We eat together. Mm-hmm. Um, it's my favorite meal of the week because <laughs> um, all the kids are sitting around, and we get into the drama of their day, and you know, make sure they're doing okay. And then we have some, uh, usually a guest artist. So we've had um, like a guy come and teach drums. Actually, our mural artist that mm-hmm. was part of that program. Uh, in July, we have Sandy Griffin, who is a local artist who's coming, going to spend four weeks with us. So wow. she's going to showcase her art yeah. uh, in our coffee house, yeah, and yeah. then um, and then work with the kids. And the kids by having her uh, several weeks in a row, then you get to like work on a big project, and the kids get to work on it for several weeks. And we'll be displaying those in our sanctuary when it's done. And so that's a pretty cool thing. And then I don't know if you knew this, but Laura Lee's my wife just got certified as a yoga instructor. Oh my. And so she's been working really hard to get that. And so August is her month and the kids are going to be learning yoga. And so that's what we try to do. Bring in different artists, different kind of things, just to experience some more stuff. And that's well, what it's a, what's a, what our program is about. It sounds to me like there's a lot going on at the Word at Shaw. <laughs> there's a lot going on. Well, I tell you, Pastor, we're just about out of time, but can I get you to come back on and we talk about more of the things that are happening at the Word at Shaw? Absolutely. I'm, I'm at your disposal. Wonderful. Is there anything else that you'd like to say in closing, Pastor? Well, I'd just like to say to the city of St. Louis, hey, our best days are still ahead of us. And uh, wherever you're going to church today, I just want you to go and pray for our city. Pray that we might be united as one. Yeah. Pray that I look forward to this because I believe Jesus is going to do this. That someday the world is going to look at us and say, isn't that that city that was so divided? What happened? And, and those of us who know Christ are going to be able to smile and say, well, Jesus happened here. And when Jesus gets a hold of things, when we stand under his banner, then there is unity, there's love, and there's equality at the foot of the master. I love what you said. You said Jesus happened here. That's it. Well, that's a sermon. <laughs> hey, that's, that's, that's a bumper sticker. That's a bumper sticker and a t-shirt sale. Can I, can I steal that? <laughs> you got it, baby. It's all yours. <laughs> Again, bless you, Pastor Keith, for being a part of the CBC radio show. The word of Shaw, y'all. The word of Shaw. You got to go by there. Thank you so much, Pastor. My pleasure. All right, friends. We're going to take a short break right here. Stay with me. I'll be right back. Good morning. This is CBC Author of the Month, Delitra Hudson, the financial educator. Are you tired of living from paycheck to paycheck and still not having the life that you desire? I can help you. I am a financial education coach and consultant, author and speaker who is very interested in helping anyone who desires to improve their financial position by increasing their financial knowledge. I am very passionate about helping those create legacies and teach our young people how to have better lives. I am so passionate about this that I wrote a children's book, and it is called Money Doesn't Grow on Trees. And this this is my debut children's book of my Money Matters book series. And the book was stemmed from conversations that I have with my young people at home who think that every time they want they can get. But there's a direct correlation between working and earning. And we must start by teaching our young people those things. I am on a mission to help small business owners, professionals, churches, municipalities, and youth group 
groups get this message out. I am available to meet with you and have one-on-one sessions, or you invite people from the community in to join us and get on this mission to help teach not only the young people, but children of all ages, the importance of good money habits and money management skills. I am hosting this month, the month of June, a youth summer camp from the week of June 22nd for children ages 7 to 18 to learn how to earn, keep, and grow their own money. Visit my website and go to the contact page to send me your information if you're interested in booking me. And my website is www.delitrahudson.com. That is D-E-L-E-T-R-A-H-U-D-S-O-N, all one word, dot com. God has blessed me with over 20 plus years in the financial industry, and I am ready to pay forward my knowledge by helping those who desire and are ready to be helped. And if you are ready to start improving your own financial position, I am offering a 45 minute complimentary financial empowerment session to every listener who applies through the month of June. That's valued at $297, which is typically a 30 minute session. Take advantage of it. Don't prolong improving the life that you desire and join me at my website, DeletraHudson.com or feel free to email me at DeletraHudson.com. Follow me on Facebook at Delitra Hudson, Twitter at sign Delitra Hudson or Instagram Delitra one. Welcome back to the CBC Radio Show. I'm your host, Evangelist Nona Thomas. And friends, we have Dr. Tebow on the show this morning, none other than Dr. Katrina thompson Bowdry. She's ready to talk about so much that's important to our health. So I want to welcome back to the CBC Radio Show, Dr. Tebow. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I'm so happy to be on this morning. Thank you again, Evangelist Thomas. Well, you know you're welcome. And you know the question I'm going to ask. Is this the day that the Lord has made for you? And I'm happy to be in it as always. Yes, yes, indeed. You know, here we are. We are in the summer. Can you believe it's summertime? It's summertime. I'm excited about it. I'm excited about the weather. I'm excited about just activities and just everything about summer. I love it. I love summer. Even though I was born in the fall, fall (laughs) is my favorite because the leaves start to change. You feel a certain type of way. You you know, it it starts to reflect. But I love summer because it gives you time to spend time with your family and have fun as well. Indeed, indeed. And, you know, uh, summertime with uh, some folks with different allergies and, and asthma, I know those things can really be helped through chiropractic. Tell us about it, that. That is most important to me right now during the summer and seasonal changes, especially in the city and state of St. Louis, Missouri. <laughs> What's happening is at we are number, like, 10 on the list for asthma triggers and dealing with children of asthma changes, and we have to make sure that those children are still properly aligned with their spine. What's happening is when the humidity goes up, they're going to make it harder for them to breathe, harder for them to cope with their surroundings, and harder for them to just inhale good air and exhale better out. So it's harder on their system and their body. So with chiropractic, it's time to make sure that those kids keep their immune system functioning properly during this summer time because the heat is going to be terrible, terrible and detrimental to their environment. Yes. And, you know, with with all the different activities and running and jumping and all of that, I mean, that's all intensified, isn't it? Yes, it's all intensified. Um, Just like with a parent that will have anxiety this summer, stress, dealing with where my kids are going. And with the child having asthma or different issues, it's both that all family members get involved and come in. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know, we've learned so much uh, through this relationship with the Christian Business Connection about chiropractic. And it's it's so many areas that folks just never think about that could be affected. And, of course, we have the, you know, the usual things people think about, well, if you in a car accident, then, you know, you need to go to a chiropractor, but there's so much more, isn't it? Yes, it is. It's so much further than just saying car accidents. Um, 
You might not feel any pain, but guess what? That doesn't mean that your spine is properly aligned. We can tell by the shape of our teeth if they're properly aligned. You can tell when a cavity starts to form, but you cannot tell what's happening in the inside of your body. So that's when chiropractic plays an important role because that's what we focus on. That's what we know. That's how we, that's what we study. So I know it in and out, and I can help you fulfill those requirements through chiropractic services to help your body feel the most that it ever felt before and keep itself rejuvenated at the same time. Yes, indeed. Now, you're conveniently located. Tell us where you are. I'm in the St. Charles area off of 70 and 1st Capital. And you can find me right behind in that business plaza area if you know where the TGI Fridays is at. I'm at 2101 Collier Corporate Parkway, St. Charles, Missouri, 63303. And what is your phone number? My number is 636 336 8049. Again, that's 636-336-8049. You know, Dr. Bowdry, there is uh, a fantastic way that folks are getting in contact with you through social media, and that kind of goes to your pocket doctor. Uh, That's your other name, too. So tell us about that. Yes, I am the doctor in your pocket. I'm blessed to have this tool and this platform to make sure I spread and elevate the word of what chiropractic can do and how to take better care of your body. And that information is T-H-E-P-O-C-K-E-T-D-R because I'm the doctor in your pocket. (laughs) I love it. I love it. And I think daily, don't you give information um, uh, to the folks who who follow you on a daily basis? Yes, ma'am. I give information on a daily basis. And every Wednesday or Thursday, we do a late night knowledge so you can understand some things about your body that you never knew before ever knew before. And Wednesdays, look out because that's always our water Wednesdays. And we want to promote healthy, nutritional, and vibrant living in the inside of you by keeping your maintenance of water level consumed it's just to the to the right amount. We want to keep that at the right amount. And especially during the summertime because you don't want kids to say, hey, let me pick up this Capri Sun <laughs> to keep myself hydrated when they need to pick up a bottle of water to mm-hmm. keep themselves hydrated. That's right. You know, you've given an excellent healthy living tip uh, in the past weeks about water. It was really great, but that's something we need to hear every single day, don't we? Yes, yes. Water is very crucial and essential to the body. If we don't have that fuel, just like you don't have oil for your car, you're not going to thrive. Mm. So if we don't have oil, guess what happens to your car? The engine locks up. If you don't have that water for your body, guess what happens? You fall out, you pass out, and you can't comprehend what's going on around you. You become stressed, lethargic, means dryness of the mouth, and you can't function as properly as we want you to. So having water is crucial, very, very crucial to your body. I always say that nothing beats H two O. It's the best. It's the best drink ever. <laughs> yes, it is. Yes, it is. So when you think about drinking some sugar, make sure you chop that off with two or four or five, ten cups of water because you have to do that with all the sugar and redefined drinks because it's too much in there and it leads to other problems as well. Yes, it, it sure does. And I know that you're going to come a little later in the program and you're going to give us our healthy living tip for today. You promise to do that? Oh, I promise to do that. This one's <laughs> going to be very good. If you're dealing with something of constipation issues, I'm going to give you a couple of tips on there because that's going to be a big thing this summer, especially with children and adults traveling, eating these foods, and then we're going to have to deal with, now I'm constipated. Oh, no. Buy a humbug. <laughs> we don't want that. <laughs> we don't want that. Well, right. I, I, well, I want to let my listeners know that if you're just tuning in this morning, we're talking with Dr. Katrina thompson Boundary, and you're going to give us one more time, would you, all of your contact information? Yes, ma'am. I'm going to give it to you right now. You can follow me on Facebook at Dr. Katrina thompson Boundary. You can follow me on Instagram at The Pocket Doctor, T H E P O C. K E T D R. You can also follow this thing, the Pocket Doctor on Twitter. I'm located at 2101 Collier Corporate Parkway, St. Charles, Missouri, 63303. And if you want to reach me on my line, you can do that at 636 336 80 Nine. Wonderful, wonderful. Thank you so much for being Thank a part you so of much, the CBC Amanda, Radio Tommy. Show. You're a blessing. I've learned. I, I think I you bless probably... me. I... You know what? You bless me. <laughs> <laughs> we blessing each other because I really yes, am ma'am. learning some new stuff. I really am. So we're going to have you back. Look, it's not over. I'm excited about it. 
thank you for being a part of the show. Is there anything else you'd like to say today? Today, I would like to just let you guys know that in the summer, seasons are changing. But guess what? Just because it's hot doesn't mean that you don't have to keep your body in top-notch shape with chiropractic care. Make sure that you keep your spine aligned. Those breathing changes are great with your children and yourself because the humidity is, going to, humidity is going to rise, and I want you to rise along with it, too, and say, hey, I'm tackling every force that you're giving me. Wonderful. I love it. I love it. Dr. Katrina thompson Boundary, the pocket doctor, Dr. Tebow, all those good things. Thank you for being a part of the show today. Thank you. All right, friends, we're going to take a short break. Don't forget to stay tuned to the Healthy Living Tip. I'll be right back. Hey, St. Louis, it's Pastor Keith Scarborough from The Word at Shaw, located on the corner of Tower Grove and Shaw, right across the street from the Botanical Garden, wanting to invite you to our multicultural service. Starts at 11 a.m. on Sunday morning, but come early. Coffee House opens at 1030. Come get a cup of coffee, check your email, and get ready for service at 11 a.m. For more information, just visit our website, thewordatshaw.org, and we'll see you there. Hello, and welcome back to Dr. Tebow's Cairo Healthy Living Tip. Today's topic is about constipation. Constipation is a major cause of discomfort to millions. Constipation can cause you to have an extreme pain and health problems. So what can you do? Here are some tips that you can do in order to help your constipation issues. Number one, increase intake of liquid foods and fiber. Make sure that you have a good intake of nutritional foods such as broth soup, garlic, onions, kale, spinach, beans, whole grain wheat and fruit. These are good choices to help your digestive system. Number two, avoid junk foods and sugary drinks. At all costs, avoid these things in order to keep the bad things out and what's good that you need in. This will help keep your bowel system in order. Number three, increase your intake of water. Increasing your intake of water will help nourish your system and keep your body thriving. Don't forget, stay away from ice cream, cheese, and those processed foods. And last but not least, chiropractic care. Chiropractic plays a significant role in relieving constipation. Articles in several journals have shown how spinal adjustments to particular areas of the spine have helped eliminate chronic or acute constipation and add additional improvement in back pain. Chiropractic is very important to you. So remember that your health is your wealth and don't forget your spinal health is amazing too. If you need to reach me, you can call me at 636-336-8049. Align your spine with Dr. Tebow today. Welcome back to the CBC Radio Show. I'm your host, Evangelist Nona Thomas. And friends, I told you we were going to be talking this morning with none other than Miss Kimberly Ward of Kim's Herb and Detox Center. I'm so excited to have her back on the CBC Radio Show. So I want to say good morning. Good morning, Nona. I'm glad to be here as well. Good, good. Is, Is this the day that the Lord has made for you? Absolutely. You're rejoicing and you're glad in it. Very, very much so. Amen, amen. Well, you know, there are some great things that are going on at Kim's Herb and Detox Center. You know, we're just so excited. You know, you are a new business owner right there in Olivet. Tell us about what is going on at Herb and Detox Center. Yeah, um, it's just been amazing. I've been meeting a lot of people, um, helping people with their health needs and just offering services that people are really interested in and they're interested in learning more about it. So um, I have currently um, a selection of various herbs. Um, I have Cheryl's Herbs products. I have Nature Sunshine products. I also offer essential oils. Um, I also have just oils that you can put in your hair, on your skin, like avocado oil. I have um, natural soaps and shampoos. There's just a lot I have there that people are really interested in, and I'm just very excited to share with people. I also offer some detox services as well. Um, For example, I offer the ionic foot bath, and it's basically a way that you can detox toxins from your body to your feet, and the water changes colors based on what's coming out, and it's been right on with the people I've done so far in the past. I also offer a Biomat, which is infrared therapy. Um, It improves your blood circulation, metabolism, and inflammation. And it's really basic. You lay on this mat, and it has infrared heat as well as crystals, and it goes deep down to the cellular level and detoxes your body. I also have an infrared sauna. It's a portable one. So it uses the same technology as the mat. It has the infrared heat, and that's really relaxing, but it's also detoxing. 
And the last thing I offer is health coaching. I am a certified health coach. So if someone wants me to sit down with them and go over their current health habits or what they eat or whatever, I can give them suggestions on making them a lot healthier. So You know, I, 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 I want to put a pin in, in that right there. A certified, did you say health coach? Yes, I am. You know, and that is so important. Where we're living at right now, I mean, you know, we're eating, uh, you know, macaroni, cheese, macaroni and cheese and bacon. You know what I'm saying? At the same time, in between a roll with butter on it, all right? Yes. <laughs> and so, know. you know, we get so used to doing and having so many bad habits, Kim, you know? And so what you offer is so refreshing. And for anybody who's sincere about making a change, they need to come see you, don't they? They would. They should. They should come see me. I can sit down with them again and just go through their daily routine and help and just show them some of the things that they may be doing wrong to, you know, affect their health in a negative way. So mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They're there to, just there to help. <laughs> indeed. Indeed. Because it's a lifelong passion. How long have you been in the health and wellness industry? I would say over 10 plus years. Wow. It's been it's been a journey. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Been learning, been learning on my own body. You yeah. know, so <laughs> everything that I'm selling and that I'm talking about, you know, I implement it in my own life. Per se. So yes. it's something that I truly believe in. Yes, and and can I just take a second because you are a new business owner, which means you had something in your heart, uh, a, a desire, a vision, and you just stepped out in faith and did the darn thing. Isn't that great? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I stepped out, man. It was a big jump, but I felt that God was calling me to do it, and I had to obey it, and yes. I just did it, you know. So yes. it's been very rewarding already. And it's yes. only been a few weeks. So. It is. I know. I know. You're a newbie. <laughs> I tell you, give us the uh, contact information, your address, and your hours that you're open, all that good stuff. Okay. My address is 9634 Olive Boulevard in Olivet, Missouri. And my phone number is 314-395-3767. And my hours are a little weird right now, but it's going to change eventually. But right now I'm open Wednesday evenings from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. And then on Fridays and Saturdays from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. And Sundays from noon to 5. And I also um, also have a meetup group. And you can go to www.meetup.com and look up herbs-detox-meetup. And I am offering different discussions and, and classes at my store about different areas, you know, different health areas. So if people are interested in learning more, you know, they can just sign up for the meetup site and then RSVP for the different discussions that I'm going to hold. And they're all free as well. So Great, great. Give us your phone number one more time, would you? It's 314-395-3767. Wonderful. Thank you so much. I'm so excited about what God is doing in your life and in your business. And really, it's, uh, it's like business slash ministry, okay? And he's doing some great things. Thank you for being a part of the CBC Radio Show. Kimberly Ward of Kim's Herb and Detox Center. Thank you. All righty. Friends, we're going to take a short break. Stay with me. I'll be right back. Good morning, everybody. My name is Vance Watt. I'm the worship arts pastor at the Word at Shaw Church here in St. Louis, Missouri, where we serve the community in word and in deed. I'm so excited to be here this morning on the CBC radio show with evangelist Nona Thomas. I'd like to extend a warm welcome to you and your family to come worship with us at the Word at Shaw at 11 a.m. on Sunday morning. We're located at 4265 Shaw Boulevard, St. Louis, Missouri, 63110. Or you can visit our website at www.thewordatshaw.com. Org. God bless. Hi, this is Evangelist Nona Thomas inviting you to tune in to Hallelujah 1600 at 4 p.m. every Wednesday for the midweek message. Friends, let me tell you, this program will encourage you. It will inspire you. It will be the boost that will be right on time in the Word of God for your Wednesday afternoon. So tune in every Wednesday, 4 p.m. right here on Hallelujah 1600 for the midweek message with Evangelist Nona Thomas. Thomas. To God be the glory. Welcome back to the CBC Radio Show. I'm your host, Evangelist Nona Thomas, and I'm so excited about our next interview because we are talking about something that is hitting the St. Louis metropolitan area by storm. I want to welcome to the CBC Radio Show, Mrs. April Fuller Kelly of Beauty Tainers and an independent distributor of Tyra Banks Cosmetics. Good morning. Good morning. Now, you know I'm going to ask you the question, don't you? Yes. <laughs> 
<laughs> is this the day that the Lord has made for you? Yes, and I'm going to rejoice and be in it. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. And I can hear it in your voice. Indeed. Well, I tell you, this thing has taken over in the St. Louis area. I'm so excited about Tyra Banks Cosmetics Beauty Tainers. Tell us about it. Yes, um, Tyra Banks just came out with a new cosmetic line and it's already um, going by storm. storm. She's been on W. GN and it's just her products are just awesome. Um, she has awesome names for all of our products like Smack My Fat Lash Mascara <laughs> and it's just <laughs> just awesome and I love all the products um, that she has so far. I've been just wearing uh, one of the products every like I, I live by and that's her cheek <laughs> a blush in a stick and all of her products actually comes in a stick and she the cheek in a stick is awesome. It's just blush and it's in a stick and you just apply it on your face. And all of her makeup, she has um, the Tyra Banks tie over. So you can put, apply her makeup within five minutes. And if you're like a businesswoman and you're on the go, like I am, um, you want to get that makeup on as fast as possible. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> so that's why I got into her cosmetic line. Well, what I am excited about the product is this. Her name, I mean, it, she's a brand, and she is a supermodel, so one would think she might know something about cosmetics, wouldn't you think? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> now, I know that um, in talking to you about um, this new line that she has launched, um, it's it's really just taking over. I mean, there's so many great things about it, but I know there's a website and that folks can go to, and they can give you a call to get that information, can't they? Yes, they sure can. Give us your phone and number I that they can reach you at. Uh, my telephone number is 217-741-1890. Give it to us one more time. Yes, it's 217-741-1890. Yes. Now, I also love beauty tainers. That's good. It's kind of like entertainers, but beauty tainers, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's awesome. <laughs> it is. And, you know, we're so blessed because we're going to have you talking about this product over the next several months. And, you know, and I, I'm, I'm telling my listeners, one of the reasons is because you're going to be a part of the upcoming uh, Christian Business Connection and Nona Thomas Worldwide Ministries retreat that we're going to have and be announcing. And you're going to be a part of that and pampering the ladies and all that good stuff. And we're going to tell them about that over the next coming weeks, aren't we? Yes, we are. And it's so exciting. I can't wait. <laughs> yes, yes. Now, if someone wants to get in contact with you right now, now, can you meet with them and, you know, kind of consult with them and, and tell them what looks best and what would help them in their um, in their makeup. Yes, I sure do. The only thing that she does not have yet is a foundation, but if you want, like, eyeliner, uh, eyelashes, um, a good mascara, um, couture on your face to give you a polished look. I mean, she has so many different products um, that you can put over your foundation that it just give you that glow. Because I, when I apply my makeup, I like to glow. <laughs> I, I'm with you. I, I put a pin in it right there. The a glow. I, I want to glow for Jesus. I want to glow. That's right. <laughs> and and there's so many uh, different uh, uh, techniques for applying uh, cosmetics and things. And you can help. You can help us with that too, can't you? I sure can. Wonderful. Well, give us your phone number one more time. We're about out of time. But uh, look, folks are going to hear all about uh, Tyra Banks Cosmetics and Beauty Tainers throughout this summer. What number one more time can you be reached at? Yes, and I also will give my email address as well, but my telephone number is 217-741-1890, and I'm going to repeat it again. It is 217-741-1890, and the website is www.tyra.com, which is T-Y-R-A.com slash April Fuller. 87. Wonderful, wonderful. I, I tell you, I'm excited. We're going to have a full summer of fun. We're talking girl talk. We love stuff like this. So I'm excited that you are a part of the CBC radio show. <laughs> Thank you so much, Mrs. April Fuller Kelly of Tyra Banks Cosmetics and Beauty Tainers. Thank you. Thank you. All right, friends, we're going to take a short break right here. Stay with me. I'll be right back. 
Hey, St. Louis, it's Pastor Keith Scarborough from The Word at Shaw, located on the corner of Tower Grove and Shaw, right across the street from the Botanical Garden, wanting to invite you to our multicultural service. Starts at 11 a.m. on Sunday morning, but come early. Coffee House opens at 1030. Come get a cup of coffee, check your email, and get ready for service at 11 a.m. For more information, just visit our website, thewordatshaw.org, and we'll see you there. Hi, this is Evangelist Nona Thomas, inviting you to tune in to Hallelujah 16 at 4 p.m. every Wednesday for the midweek message. Friends, let me tell you, this program will encourage you. It will inspire you. It will be the boost that will be right on time in the Word of God for your Wednesday afternoon. So tune in every Wednesday, 4 p.m. right here on Hallelujah 1600 for the midweek message with Evangelist Nona Thomas. To God be the glory. Hi, I'm Kim, owner of Kim's Herbs and Detox Center, and we're located in the Olivet area. Our mission is to offer people natural herbal alternatives for many common health conditions, such as chronic arthritis, hormonal imbalances, digestion issues, and more. We also offer other products to help you maintain your healthy temple, for example, detox kits and vitamin supplements. Come see us at 9634 Olive Boulevard or call us at 314-395-3767. Kim's Herbs and Detox Tax Center, helping you take care of your temple of health. Good morning. This is April Fuller Kelly. My contact number is 217-741-1890. I would like to give you more info about my products. Please try our Ultimate Wrap. It will keep your belly flat. It will keep you hydrated because the water is a must with this product. We also have greens on the go. They keep you feeling good and energized for the day. Please contact me. We will have more products and service available. You can reach me at 217-741-1890 or entrepreneur24-2011 at yahoo.com. Again, my name is April Fuller Kelly, and you have a great day. Friends, haven't we had a wonderful time today? I just bless the Lord and thank him for sending such wonderful, wonderful people to the Christian Business Connection. I know you've been blessed. I want to thank our CBC June author of the month, Mrs. Delitra Hudson. Her book, Money Doesn't Grow on Trees, is amazing. Love it. The illustration. I can't talk enough about this book. You simply have to get your copy. And thank you so much for being on the show with us. Pastor Keith Scarborough of the Word at Shaw. Ah, some great things are going on in South St. Louis. The outreach ministry, well, you heard him. Uh, the, the furniture ministry is just a blessing to so many people. Keep up the excellent work that you're doing there, Pastor Keith, and also uh, Vance Watt. Thank you so much, the uh, praise and worship leader there. You all are doing a fantastic job. To God be the glory. Also, I want to thank this morning Dr. Katrina thompson Bowdry, Dr. Tebow. She's a staple right here at the CBC Radio Show, the pocket doctor. She's doing it. She's doing it. She's doing it. She loves the community. God is opening up such great doors for her. We thank you sincerely Dr. Katrina Thompson Bowdry for all that you are doing in the metropolitan St. Louis area. And then Miss Kimberly Ward of Kim's Herb and Detox Center. You've got to get by her place of business. She truly has so many things to help us in the area of health and wellness. And her facility is beautiful on top of that. The essential oils, oh my, well I'm not going to do the interview again without her. I'm just going to tell you that you need to get over to Kim's Herb and Detox Center. Then we also want to say thank you so much, Mrs. April Fuller Kelly. What a blessing. Tyra Banks Cosmetics and Beauty Tainers. Oh, she's the one to see. Some great things are going on within that company, and she just wants to be a blessing to you. Give her a call so she can tell you about the great things that are going on with Tyra. Banks Cosmetics and Beauty Tainers. And the testimony, I want to say also, I want to thank uh, Miss Lauren Drummond for her testimony about Kim's Urban Detox Center. It was from the heart, and she wouldn't have done it if it has not made a difference in her life. So I want to thank you so much. Thank you so much, Miss Lauren, for being a part of the CBC radio show as well.
You know, I want to give you just a little heads up on who we're going to have on the program next week. We're going to have Mr. Highland Stewart. He's going to be back talking about something that you need to hear. You simply need to hear. So I'm just giving you a little bit of a teaser there to make sure you listen to Mr. Highland Stewart on the CBC radio show next week. I want to encourage you to give me a call at 314-270-2225 if you would like to be featured on the CBC radio show. Also, ladies, ladies, calling ladies, if you would like more information about the upcoming women's retreat that I will be hosting October 14th through the 16th, give me a call. 314-270-2225. Space is limited. All I can tell you that you need to enjoy life. You need to enjoy life. Be a part of this retreat. It's going to be a blessing for you. 314-270-2225. Well, I'm about out of time, guys. It's always my joy being a part of your morning if you're listening to this program right now. Now, if you're listening on the website of thecbcradioshow.com, thank you for visiting the site. Thank you for moving and weaving around in the site to find out what's going on with the CBC radio show. It is my joy, it is my joy to come to you every single Sunday. And while you're at the website, check out the times that the CBC television show airs. That's right, the Christian Business Connection television show. I have a new television program. Oh, I can't tell it all. God is doing it. But go to to the website, the CBC Radio Show.com, for more info. As always, in closing, to God be the glory. Christian Business Connection, connecting your business or ministry to the world.